Hey everybody, I am going to wait a few minutes while you all gather yourselves and join me for Word Up tonight. It is Word Up! Uh, and I'm going to wait for all of you to join me this evening. I am so glad that it's Wednesday uh, and that you are jumping on. So I'm going to give, hey, um, I hope that you are having a good week. Uh, so many great things are happening and I need some of you to uh, start just saying hey to me and tell me where you're from. Hi, uh, it's Wednesday night and it's Word Up. I see you jumping on, so hey, uh, and I'm so glad to see you. I have, um, uh, there's just so much going on and, and the city is opening, but I don't want us ever to uh, forget our Wednesday night together. Hey, 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 praise him. Uh, I see you, yeah. I pray that you are tagging someone, that you are not just tagging them, but you are uh, doing a Hey Chicago, uh, and that you are doing a mat a watch party. Uh, it's Wednesday night, and it's Word Up, and I am so excited to see everyone. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to uh, jump on and, and do what we do, and hey, in Philadelphia, I'm so happy to see you. Let me reconnect my little screen down here and get me down a little bit. Great, great, great. Let's do this. Yeah. So, not sure what I just did, but I'm going to fix it. Hey, hi. Yeah, good. Hello, hello, by the way. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, I see you guys jumping on. I'm so glad. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Agape. Hey, I'm so glad to see you all the way from Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Queens. Hey, Michigan. How are you? Um, there we go. I'm now seeing you guys jump on. All right, I'm better now. Um, do me a favor and share with someone, tag someone, uh, tell them that uh, Pastor Wallace is on and it's Word Up Wednesday and I am just so excited about you guys being on with me. Greensboro, North Carolina. Wow, hi. Uh, and I'm waiting for some more people to jump on. It is Wednesday night. We've only been on for a few minutes and I'm grateful. Hey, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, how are you tonight? Hey, Don, I see you jumping on. Um, it is Wednesday night. It is Word Up. Uh, and the Word of the Lord is just sure. Uh, and He wants us to be in His Word. Uh, and so while we're just chatting, I see you jumping on. Hey, Sophie, I missed you Sunday. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening if you're in another city. Uh, but I want you to share, tag. I need somebody to say, hey, Pastor, I'm doing a watch party tonight and you are it uh, and so while you're doing that I want to give you guys a, a few things that I need you to do those of you that have jumped on already already um, would you do me a favor and I'm gonna say this a couple times tonight uh, if you are a part of YouTube will you just subscribe to Reverend Cordelia Wallace uh, channel I have relaunched my channel hey from Bloomfield Connecticut how are you Good evening. Uh, and so if you would do that for me, I need about uh, all 40 of you that have not subscribed uh, to my YouTube channel. I need you to take a second, hey, uh, and go over there and subscribe right now. It has a purple awning or a purple banner. Uh, and I need you to do that for me. Uh, hey, how are you? All the way from Zimbabwe. How are you? I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Uh, and I pray that you continue to join us. Uh, wonderful. Will you do that for me? So again, if you are joining me tonight uh, and you are part of the YouTube uh, social media site, would you go over right now, just take a minute and go right, right now and uh, subscribe to my new launching on my new channel, uh, Reverend Cordelia Wallace. It has a purple banner. I'm expecting everybody to start texting me. Yes. Hi from Panama. How are you tonight? Um, and uh, subscribe tonight. Uh, and I need you guys to do that really, really fast because I want to go straight to the word blessings tonight. 
I see you jumping on. Hey, from California. Um, more of you are coming on, and I am so grateful. I need you to tag. I need you to watch Party Me. Uh, don't jump off. Stay on. The best is yet to come. Uh, and while you're doing that, I want to wait a few minutes. And when you have done that for me, just come on and comment and tell me, hey, I just subscribed to your YouTube channel. I appreciate you so much. I need you to do that. Thank you. Thank you. All the way from Baltimore. How are you tonight? Great. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I so appreciate that. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm so excited to have so many of you jumping on and I don't want to go to the work until some more of you are on. So would you um, keep tagging someone, keep um, sharing and keep doing watch parties for me? Uh, in the meantime, those of you that have been on or jumping on again, uh, hey Tennessee, uh, I want you to go over to YouTube right now and I want you to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am in the process of getting ready to do some major things over there, but I need you uh, to subscribe to that. And it's Reverend Cordelia Wallace, and it has a purple banner, just like my Facebook page. Uh, thank you so much for telling me that you subscribed. I appreciate that. So those of you that are all the way from California, how are you? Um, I appreciate you all from jumping on, and I'm so grateful. Thank you for doing that for me. Uh, I love my LFT church. Uh, and um, so those of you that have not done that, I need you to do that tonight. Uh, I don't want to uh, just keep bombarding you about doing it. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron, uh, for doing that. So I have just relaunched my um, new YouTube channel and I am just so excited about it and I want to do some uh, amazing things with it, but I need your support. And so if you have not uh, subscribed, I'm going to ask that you do that. I see some of you telling me that you just did it so thank you again and again and again uh, for doing that for me it is always appreciated and then I appreciate you for coming up on Wednesday nights and joining me there are so many platforms that you could be uh, watching or attentive to but I appreciate those of you that thank you uh, hi Smith for keep coming back and being a part of this great time of word up word up is Wednesday night and it's every Wednesday night. good evening uh, it is every Wednesday night and at 7:30, and so all of you uh, joins have someone else join on and say Reverend Wallace is getting ready to go straight to the word tonight I'm gonna ask that every person would give a seat of $20 tonight when we come to that part and you're gonna do it on um, PayPal and the PayPal address is agapecathedral.newyork at gmail.com agapecathedral at New York uh, at NY actually it's NY uh, at gmail.com let me say that again PayPal uh, agapecathedral all one word dot NY at gmail.com or you are going to text Agape Cathedral at 77977. I will slow this down so that you can catch all of that. But I am so excited about the word tonight uh, and about what the Lord is going to say to us both prophetically uh, as we go to his word. Thank you again and again. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, don't worry about it. We're all new to stuff uh, in this pandemic, but we're going to get through it. Uh, and we are going to make sure that we get through it together. Uh, everybody just say together. Uh, again, if you have just jumped on, I so appreciate you. I'm going to ask again, and I'll do it again and again and again, uh, that you will jump on and be a part of being a subscriber uh, to my new YouTube page uh, at Reverend Cordelia Wallace, and it has this big purple banner that looks very similar to the one on my Facebook page. And so when you have done that, just hit me back and say, subscribed. Uh, and I appreciate you for doing that. I want to go to the word of God. Uh, and uh, so let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bless you tonight. And we thank you tonight. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for every listening ear. We thank you for those that will come even after we have signed off and that will hear your word tonight. We bless you and we thank you for being a good and gracious God. We thank you that you have never left us nor forsaken us. And oh God, I pray that even on tonight, those of us that are feeling downtrodden or withered, I pray that even tonight that you would lift us in our spirit and give us to know God that you are with us. Thank you for this opportunity that you give us that we can go across this nation and across this universe to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray tonight that someone would not only be encouraged, but some soul might be saved 
anointing. And someone would even say, God, that, oh God, that they are renewed and rejuvenated because of the word of God. We bless you always, Father, because you're a good and gracious God to us. God, I pray that even on tonight, that my lips that are clay, that God, that you would utter your words through them. And that God, that your anointing would saturate every listening ear. Give our ears to be enlarged and increased in faith. For faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We bless you on tonight for how great you have been to us. You have kept us alive when so many have transitioned. Now God, do your thing well because you promised that you would do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could even ask or think. In Jesus' name I do pray. Thank God and amen, amen. Thank you for doing what you do best. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being a part of Word Up on tonight. If you have your Bibles, will you turn with me uh, to Joshua chapter number one? Joshua chapter number one. Those of you that are, uh, I think that may not be the YouTube page that you should be connecting to. There are two of them out there and that is not the right one. The one that you are looking at or looking for, uh, it has Reverend Cordelia Wallace and it has a purple banner on it. And so if you would subscribe to that one, I will greatly, greatly appreciate that. So go back again. I don't believe that that is the proper link uh, for the channel. And those of you that will find that link for me, uh, just post it. But it says Reverend Cordelia Wallace and it has uh, a current picture and a purple banner on it. And when you have subscribed, I will appreciate that you just tell me that. Joshua chapter number one, verse number nine. Uh, Joshua chapter number one, verse number nine. And it reads, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest, whithersoever thou goest. I want to prophetically preach tonight. There you go. You got it. I want to prophetically preach tonight, and I want to talk to you, God, from this subject. God is with us. Will you just tag yourself and say, God is with me? And then if you can scream back at me and say, God is with us. We must recognize that we are in a climate and we are in a place that we have never been before. Those of us that have lived through a other flus and other viruses and other pandemics, we would be challenged tonight to say that we have seen it like this before. Uh, as we have come into this year, we recognize that it was a new decade and we stepped in with the fervency and the tenaciousness to know that God was getting ready to do something splendor. Uh, and I want to bring us to the place that you understand that God has not changed his mind. God has not altered his plan. It just has not turned out the way we thought that it was going to turn out. And so as we come through and to the month of June, we are almost at the end of this month and we are almost at a place. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, we are almost at a place where we are somewhat perplexed and we are somewhat dismayed because we feel as if we have lost time. But the Bible says that one day with the Lord is but a thousand years and a thousand years is but one day. And we also know that anything that we want God to do, we want him to do it in his time. Uh, and those of us that are in or antsy or we are at the edge of our seats or we are trying or attempting to go ahead of God, we are going to find ourselves not in the perfect place because when we ever go ahead of God, we cannot get what God has in his hand. Uh, and so we must then understand tonight that as we mount ourselves, as we transition uh, into the latter part of this year, that God is not going to play catch up, but God is going to accelerate what he has promised that he was going to do. Can I say that again? God is not going to play, try to play catch up, but God is going to play or do acceleration to what he has promised us. I pray that you would catch this on tonight. And so as it is, those of us that are in this place, we have almost questioned God about where he is and how come this 
this has not happened. Uh, I am now hearing uh, men and women of faith uh, question how come and when God is going to move things and we are going back uh, to where we were. I want you to note this on this evening that we are not going back to where we are. Where we are going is forward. Uh, somebody just text me back and say we're going forward. Uh, you must clearly understand that those things that are behind us are behind us. The Bible says that even in the book of Genesis when uh, Noah uh, Lot was moving on from a, a poor destination and God had already made some changes that his wife looked back. I want to say before I get to my text tonight that there's no one that's listening to me that you should look back. But you must look forward to where God is taking you. You must look forward to all that God is getting ready to do in your life. And you must look forward to the things that God has promised us. Uh, but you must also know that God is in control. Let me say this again. Those of you that are just jumping on, I want you to know that God is with us. Uh, I want you to know that God has already mapped out the rest of this year for us. Uh, and those of you that have come through the pandemic and those of you that have suffered whether asymptoms or severe symptoms of uh, the COVID virus, those of you that have lost loved ones, we are grieving and we have grieved, but weeping may endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. You must clearly understand that as we mount now uh, into this new direction, as we come into this new place, that you must clearly understand that it is a transition. Let me say that again. It is a transition. God is transitioning us. He is enlarging our faith. He took 90 days to keep us in a cave and he has now prepared us to go where he has designed for us to go. Will you just tag yourself and say, God has a plan already designed for me. The Bible says that the steps of a good man, boy, woman, boy, or girl are ordered by the Lord. You need to recognize Recognize that God is ordering your step. I wish I had a church. I would tell you that while you're in your house, even right now, you need to take a step forward. You need to clearly understand that God is getting ready to masterfully uh, order your direction. Uh, you don't have to worry about the north, south, east, and west. Whatever direction God is leading you in, God has a way of leading us where we don't even know that we're going. Can I just say? sidebar for just one additional moment. Uh, in the book of Genesis, God speaks to Abraham and God says to Abraham, just pack your stuff and go. I want to say to us in this season of God escalating us and God pushing us and thrusting us uh, into places that we have never been before and God doing his God thing for us, there must be an enlargement of your faith. You must be able to say that you are going from faith to faith and glory to glory. Will you just pull on yourself and tell yourself I'm going to the next level of faith. Uh, it is then as we transition and transition never man, transition never feels good. Uh, can you say that to yourself? Transition never feels good. Transition takes us out of the place of comfort transition takes us uh, into a norm that we have never experienced before transition moves us out of the place of comfort and puts us in a place that would appear that would be uncomfortable and those of you that are listening to me this evening you need to know that this has not been a comfortable season it has been a season that you have almost been blindsided uh, if we were to say that. You have been in a place that you don't even know how you're going to get out. You don't know what day you're going to get out. But I want to suggest to us even on tonight that God is getting ready to bring you out. Uh, will you just encourage yourself and say God is getting ready to bring me out. Uh, uh, and that God has done this so that we know without a, without a, a doubt
doubt in our minds uh, that God is with us. Uh, as we go to the book of Joshua, the children of Israel now are in a transition. Uh, uh, I don't know why God keeps saying that, but there are some of you that are trying to move ahead of God. There are some of you that are feeling um, uh, betwixt in this hour, and you feel like you have a better plan. I want to suggest to you tonight that, that God's plan is always the best plan. Uh, the Bible says many are the plans of a man's heart, but the Lord's plans, uh, they shall prevail. Uh, and you need to understand that if you can just wait on the Lord and be of good courage tonight, that God's plan is going to supersede your plan all the time. Let me just back up for a moment and suggest to you that God God's plan has never changed about you. God's plan uh, is not inconsistent about you. God's plan uh, is right on time. God's plan has already been orchestrated and there's no devil in hell that can change uh, the plan of God. The only way that the plan can be changed uh, is if you decide uh, not to follow the leading of the Lord. Uh, as we come to uh, this book of Joshua, Joshua now has the children of Israel uh, and they have um, trickled into a place now that they are unfamiliar with. Uh, uh, the Bible gives us to know that God speaks to Joshua and he encourages him. But you cannot encourage the leader uh, and the people not be encouraged. Uh, and so tonight, I just stopped by to encourage us tonight. I, I not only want to encourage us, but I want to fortify you. I want you to know that you are more powerful now than you were back in January. You are more powerful now than you were in the month of March. You've got more anointing in this hour than you had last week because what you should know about God now like you have never known in any other season of your life is that God is with us. The Bible says that as we look at this ninth verse, God speaks back to Joshua and the children of Israel and he goes on to say have I not instructed you? Uh, the Bible says lean not to your own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. I want to suggest to us that God is leading you in this hour. You don't have to rush. You don't have to be in a hurry. Um, the Bible says be steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must understand that in this very moment of time, God is getting ready to accelerate what he has spoken over your life. The Bible says that he instructs us to be strong. What is strong? Strong means that I am morally ready for what God is getting ready to do. How am I going to be strong when I feel weak in my body? Body. But the Bible says that when I am weak, uh, it is there that he makes me strong. Uh, you've got to understand that in your most weakest moment, God utilizes it to bring you up because the Bible says that greater is he that is in me uh, than he that is in the world. Uh, I'm almost finished with my text, uh, but be strong on tonight. Uh, the Bible says uh, that you are to be courageous. Uh, somebody said, well, what is courageous? Uh, it means that you have the ability to handle a crisis. Uh, and I want to suggest to you tonight uh, that there is no thing that God is getting ready to place in your hand uh, that you cannot handle uh, because God has gone ahead of you. Uh, and the Bible says that no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Uh, but God gives us to know that while we are in this transition he has made us to be courageous you will not fail you will not go down God is getting ready to lift you up many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all you need to understand that God is lifting you in this hour he is building you up he says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Somebody hit me back. 
and say God is with us. The Bible says be strong, be courageous, and then do not be afraid. Let me talk about fear for a moment. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. I want to come against the wiles of the devil. I want to come against the spirit of anxiety. I want to come against the spirit of us being frustrated. The Bible says be careful for nothing. I said be careful for nothing. Be anxious about nothing. Don't worry about anything. But the Bible says cast all your cares upon him. I want us to know that we've got a God uh, that is listening for our concerns. Uh, uh, and the enemy comes to make you fearful. Uh, he comes to get you off course. Uh, he comes to tell you that you can't make it. Uh, but he also comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, you need to tell the devil tonight, I will not. Uh, I will not be anxious. Uh, I will not be fearful. Uh, I will not take on stress. Uh, I bind the spirit of stress tonight. I bind the spirit of anxiety. I come against it right now in the name of Jesus. And I loose the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. You need to understand tonight that God is with us and fear is not of God. But the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but power, love and a sound mind. I wish we had a church tonight. But while you're in your houses, I want to suggest to you to pump up your arms and say, God has given me power. He's put love in my heart. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not going crazy. I'm not being despaired. I'm not giving up because God is with us. The Bible says that God is not, he has not left us. He says, neither be thou dismayed. I came to tell every listening ear tonight, take away your sad face and put happy on your face. Put joy back in your spirit for the joy of the Lord is my joy. Somebody say the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You need strength in this hour. You need fortitude in this hour. You can't be sad in this hour. That's why you have praise. Because praise restores your strength. Praise restores your sadness. Take off the garment of weariness and put on the garment of praise. Somebody take a moment and say, I've got to put on praise because praise will get rid, get rid of sadness. Praise will get rid of frustration. Praise will get rid of those things that the enemy has tried to bind you up with. The devil is a liar. God is still with us. You need to understand that God has never forsaken us. God has never left us behind. God is never sleeping or God is never slumbering. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Hallelujah. And he's beholding the good and the evil. I want to encourage us tonight on this word of Wednesday that God is with us. And if you can take a deep breath and say, God, I know that you're with me and wherever you take me I'm going. My answer is yes Lord. My commitment is till death do us part. Y'all not screaming back at me tonight. I want us to know that God, he is here, there and everywhere. He's just not in New York but he's in California. He's in South Africa. He's in Zimbabwe. He's in North Carolina. Carolina. He's in South Carolina. I see Baltimore on here. Wherever you are, that's where God is. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And God, he has put his arms around us. We are going to make it. We are going to do exceedingly and abundantly above 
all we can ask or think. God is getting ready to shift us into this next glory. And the reason that the enemy has tried to frustrate you is because he wants you to get off course. He wants you to miss your mighty time. He wants you to bring the thing that you want to bring in. But tell the devil you're a liar. You got me last time. You're not going to get me this time. You tricked me in my last season. But you're not going to trick me in this season. Because one thing that I know for sure is that God is with us. David said the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I raise my mouth and I tell the enemy tonight uh, that the Lord is with me. Uh, and when the Lord is with me, uh, chariots I don't worry about. Uh, horses I don't worry about. Uh, men I don't worry about. Because uh, God uh, has a host of angels uh, that can bring me in uh, and take me uh, where God wants to take me. Uh, you need to understand tonight uh, that God is with us. Uh, I didn't say God is with me. I said God is with us. He's bringing us in. Uh, don't be sidetracked uh, about the cities opening up. Uh, don't be sidetracked uh, about going back uh, and doing what you want to do. Uh, I said to somebody earlier, even this evening, uh, don't lose your joy. Uh, don't lose your momentum. Uh, don't lose your motion. Uh, just because you're back on the street. Uh, just because you're back uh, in your job place. Uh, but hold on uh, and know that God is with us. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on to your prayer life. Uh, hold on to your joy. Uh, hold on to your strength. Uh, and be courageous. Uh, knowing that every step uh, that God has it under control. Uh, I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight. Uh, but it's Word Up Wednesday. Uh, and you need to be encouraged. Uh, you need to tell the devil uh, that God is with me. Uh, and no devil in hell can stop me. If you were going to stop me, you should have got me in March. You should have took me out of here in April. But I'm fired up now. I'm ready now. I'm ready to know that there's greater for me. There's a promise that God has made to me. And God is not a man that he should lie. Or the son of man that he should have to repent. If he promised me better, then better is coming. If he promised me greater, then greater is coming. If he promised me, if I seek him first, he would give it to me. And I know that this is the season that God is with us. God is with us. He has not forsaken us. He has not abandoned us. He has not left us. Somebody said the other day, he's quiet. Well, he don't have to say much. He's just waiting because when he pats his feet, because earth is his footstool, be encouraged tonight to know that God is with us. You be encouraged tonight to know that you hold on to the promises of God. The Bible says that Abraham waited almost 25 years for the promises of God to manifest. Don't you know that there's a promise for you right around the corner and the enemy would love to get you off track. He would love to see you falter. He would love to see you mess up in this hour, but the devil is a liar. He's not going to do it because God is with you. You be encouraged. You hold on. You be strong in the Lord, strong in the word. You need to know that God has not forgotten. God has not forgotten what he said in January. God has not forgotten what he said last year. God has not forgotten what he said the year before. Somebody says, but Pastor Wallace, I've been waiting so long. Don't give up yet, because God is with us. Be encouraged, be fortified, be unfearful, knowing that God is not in fear, but know that wheresoever you go, know that God is there with you. For my steps are ordered by the Lord. I said, my steps are ordered by the Lord. My steps are ordered by the Lord. And I'm going to follow him to see where he's going to take me. 
Because wherever he takes me, it's going to be glorious. Tonight, I want to pray for you. I want you to know that God has not forgotten you. There's somebody that's listening to me tonight. And things have seemed so upside down. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want those of you that have listened to me tonight. I want you to sow that $20 seed. How am I going to do that, Reverend Wallace? Do it right now. PayPal. Go to PayPal. It's agapecathedral.ny at gmail.com. Agapecathedral.ny at gmail.com. Somebody say, I don't have that. Let me give you an easier way. Why don't you do this? Text Agape Cathedral and then sign in at 77977. I need every one of you tonight to sow that $20 seed. I need every one of you tonight. Let me say it again. It's PayPal, agapecathedral.ny at gmail.com. And then if you would do me a kind favor and sow that $20 seed, I would be so gracious. I would be so happy because you're not sowing just into the ministry, but you're sowing back into your own life. You're sowing back into your own finances. Many of you have had low days and you don't know how you've made it. It's because you've sown seed in this season. Don't ever stop sowing seed because God always has a mounting blessing for those that sow seed. Tonight, I want to ask you one more time, make sure you sow that $20 seed, PayPal, agapecathedral.ny at gmail.com. And then you're going to sow or you're going to sow the push pay, Agape Cathedral at 77977. Those of you that recognize tonight that it is now God is with us. God is with us. He says in the latter part of this text, God is with you wheresoever you goest. Wherever you go, God is with us. He has not forsaken us because of a pandemic. He has not forsaken us because we have lost lives. He has not forsaken us because we have seen injustice. This is the season that God is going to show us the promises that he's made to us. Remember, sow that seed. Every one of you, sow that $20 seed tonight. I know that you know what to do. I don't want to keep asking you to do I want you to do it tonight. I want you to make sure that you do this. I want you to be encouraged tonight, but I want to pray. And I, want to, I don't want to have to keep saying the same thing, but I want to pray for us tonight. <coughs> that we don't lose sight of what God is getting ready to do. That we don't lose momentum for where God is getting ready to take us. That we don't even hear and talk to the wrong people. Because even listening and talking to the wrong voices will set us off in a place that God is not taking us. But tonight I want to pray for you. Tonight I want to encourage you. Tonight I want to fortify you. Those of you that came on just a tad bit late, I want to encourage you and ask you, would you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Would you do that for me? It's Reverend Cordelia Wallace, and it's the one that has the purple banner. Would you do that? Will you subscribe and then text back and say that you've done that? But I, I want to pray tonight. I want to pray for those of you that are listening. I, I see some of you changing your posture. Don't be so quick. I want to, uh, God is not moving the way you want him to move, but God is moving. So you've got to hang in there and know that God is with us. We're sowing that $20 seed tonight. We're doing that. We're sowing it to PayPal, Agape Cathedral, dot NY at gmail.com or pushpay, Agape Cathedral at 77977. But I want to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we bless you and we thank you. We thank you that you have not forsaken us. The enemy has tried to trick us and make us to believe that you have forsaken us. You're not a forsaking in God, but God, you have been with us and you're with us right now. Father, I pray that you would keep us fortified, keep us strong, keep us encouraged, keep us motivated and keep us moving forward. Forgetting those things that are behind us, we press towards the mark of the high calling. We bless you tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you for being God. We thank you for being awesome. We thank you that you are still in control. We know that if you pat your foot, God, that things start to happen. Hallelujah. 
God, I pray for those that have suffered with anxiety and stress. And God, unbelief has creeped in. We bind that spirit right now. We loose the spirit of joy. We loose the spirit of enlarging our faith. We thank you. We thank you. That transition has been good for us. We praise you tonight. We give you glory. We thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you for the glory of your praise. And God will praise you. We'll praise you as we take every step. We'll walk forward and never look back again. For you are good and gracious God to us. Thank you for being kind to us. Thank you for being Ashanda the Lord Shabaye. Thank you for being a great God. Hallelujah. I'm Ashanda the Lord Shabba. Touch someone right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, be under the Lord Shabba. Touch them right now. Touch their bodies right now. Touch their ear gates right now. Oh God, touch right now in the name of Jesus. We trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. We know, God, that you're with us. Hallelujah. We can feel you right now. We feel your wonder now. We feel your glory now. We trust you and we know these things. These things are good to us and they're good for us. In the name of Jesus, you do what you do best because you always do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can even ask or think. Hallelujah. And we know these things to be true. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. It's Word Up Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. I pray that you will be with me on next week, Wednesday. Those of you that were a little bit late or comp did not write down, will you sow that $20 seed for me tonight? Remember, it's PayPal at agapecathedral.ny at gmail.com. If it's push pay, it's Agape Cathedral text Agape Cathedral at 77977. Thank you. Thank you for your giving. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord let his grace shine upon you until next week. Remember, next week, Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. Next week, Wednesday. We'll be right back for Word Up. Remember, it's Word Up Wednesday. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night at Word Up. God bless you. Good night.